Welcome back. Last week we talked all about optimizing natural fertility and how to get pregnant fast. So if you are just starting out on that trying to conceive journey um, and want some of those great tips, go back and check out that episode, which we can link here. Yeah, but if you're already doing those things and you're wondering what is actually going on between that time of having sex at that optimum time and actually getting a positive pregnancy test, that's the thing we're diving into this week with the two week wait. Yes. Yeah. So if this is your first time to our channel, I'm Sarah. I'm a board certified OBGYN, a fertility specialist, and currently pregnant with baby number three. Yep. Um, and I'm Kurt. I'm a board certified pediatrician. And we, we are, are the Doctors Bjorkman. Welcome back. This week we are kicking off our week by week guide through everything pregnancy, both as physicians and also as parents who've done this before. We're gonna be going through everything from the doctor side of things, yep. baby's development as a pediatrician, things I'm thinking about, mm -hmm. also educational topics related to pregnancy, labor, and delivery. In addition to that, throughout this series, we will be sharing what is going on in real life. Books we're reading, things we're doing to prepare, and what we ourselves are learning, relearning, um, <laughs> now doing this the third time around. <laughs> um, we've been, you know, giving patients advice for years um, and learning and that really, really stacks up. And so we are just excited to share that with all of you. We will share the footage of taking our pregnancy test this week as well and it's also you know the the fact that like you know we did this once as novices and now like the experience side of things what are the things that we've learned and as going through this again what does that bring to the table as kind of parents who've done this before yes and so this week is all about the two-week wait let's get to it last week we talked about ovulation tips about getting pregnant fast but after all that effort what happens next in other words, what is actually happening during that two week waiting period after ovulation, but before you can take a pregnancy test? Yeah, which means we'll be talking all about the very first meeting of egg and sperm and that early development and journey to an embryo. So around day 14 of the menstrual cycle, the ovary releases an egg that gets captured by the fallopian tube. This is called ovulation, that big event that you are trying to time sex around to optimize your chances of getting pregnant. At this time, the fallopian tube kind of sweeps around the ovary to grab the egg when it's released, pulling it into the ampulla or the end of the fallopian tube in just two to three minutes. Yeah, and there, in that upper end of the fallopian tube, the egg meets sperm for fertilization, which usually occurs within 24 hours of the egg being released. Correct. Then that fertilized egg hangs out in the ampulla for about three days before making that epic three-day trip down the tube to the uterus. These first six days, however, aren't just about traveling from the ampulla to the uterus. Mm -hmm. While the fertilized egg is making this journey, it's also preparing for implantation by growing and dividing and growing and dividing and the cells are expanding. This allows that fertilized egg to become two cells and then four and then eight and so on until it becomes a 64 cell blastocyst, with, which is already starting to differentiate into what will become the placenta and what becomes baby. Yeah. Now, over that next week, a complex series of events matures that blastocyst into an embryo while implanting it into the uterine lining. Now, studies have shown that this happens on average around day nine, mm -hmm. but could be anywhere from day six to day 12. Yeah. It is also around this time that the outer layers of cells of the blastocyst start secreting human chorionic gonadotropin or HCG. Mm -hmm. This is the hormone you have been waiting for because HCG is what makes your home pregnancy test turn positive. Yeah, now HCG is detectable in the blood as early as eight days after conception mm -hmm. and the level keeps rising until it's high enough to be picked up in the urine by a home pregnancy test around the time of your missed period, which is 10 to 14 days after fertilization. Yeah. All right, the two week wait is a long 14 days. Yeah, like I mean, the first time isn't terrible, but like yeah. if you're going through the process and you're like doing two week wait after two week wait, like it can definitely be like, gosh, like when are we gonna find out the results? When is this gonna work? Well, yeah. you know, we're doing everything right. Why it's hasn't this worked? Delayed hope. And it's tough. It's especially challenging if you are a serial early tester, which yeah. I, as a physician say, 
hey, think about the data here. It is very unlikely you get a positive pregnancy test prior to that 10, 11, 12 days post ovulation. Wait till you missed period day. Then that test means something. Um, when you test early, uh, <laughs> You go through a lot of tests. Number one. And number two, a negative test seven days post ovulation doesn't nothing. doesn't mean anything. Like, is it negative because it's truly negative and it's not going to be, or is it negative because you're just that like, HCG just hasn't hit that rise yet, right? Testing so early, right? So yeah. yes. Are you gonna be in a forum that says, Hey, I got a positive pregnancy test six days post ovulation? Yes, there is that one person out there. 100%. Um, but it is not the norm. And so just guard your heart a little bit. You know, you know what your heart and mind needs to keep you sane on this journey. And so if that is your thing, testing early, fine. Um, but and like, I think something interesting about us and our journey through the two week waits is we've like kind of done this three different ways. Like baby number one was like, Hey, we were both healthy, <laughs> relatively young, like got pregnant on the third month. Try. So did like yep. three, two week waits. And like, that was like very sane and civilized Yes. time. Number two, we like did this and we had six negative months and like felt that like Gosh, another negative. Like, hey, mm -hmm. we're putting in the work. And then we did more negative months yes. while we were trying or, ovulation induction and different things prior to doing IVF. Yeah. So, you know, and then now we're here for time number three. Um, and like, this is just like the totally different plan. We're like open to pregnancy, should it happen, but also like, you know. Wasn't, it was certainly unplanned a little bit and kind of on a whim took a pregnancy test. We just did a postpartum contraception episode and Indeed. goes back to the thing that like, hey, if you're not not trying, you know, you're, it you're is actually potentially possible. Yeah. Yes. Um, despite prior fertility struggles and things like that, you just never know. Um, and so we're obviously very excited <laughs> to be going week by week through pregnancy again. Indeed. Yes. We are thrilled. And so Sending you all the baby dust as you are on your own two-week waits. And, and best of luck. Um, we'll be here for it with you. Yep. We want you to know that even though that building anticipation during the two-week wait can sometimes border on torture, Absolutely. keep this in mind. The pregnancy hasn't really stuck until six or eight days after the sperm meets the egg, and it takes an extra few days for the pregnancy <laughs> hormone to rise to detectable levels. So for us, that understanding the whole process a little bit kind of made it more exciting and made knowing when test day was approaching that much more fun. Yep, because as you're going through this process of trying to get pregnant on your own, it just like sometimes can get really long and arduous. And so just like knowing what's happening hopefully makes it more fun. Like we're gonna be here with you on this journey, yes. kind of starting out all over again for us as we're going week by week through pregnancy. Make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you guys next week. We're doctors. But not your doctors. Anything we've said in this video is for education or entertainment purposes only. It is not medical advice. Any specific medical questions you have should be directed to your provider. <laughs> <laughs> There's a gremlin. <laughs> the first time we did this, it was much simpler.